old uh, Nissan Altima came back because it was vibrating again. It's strange, but unlike before, now it's vibrating when you slightly turn left versus going forward and under slight load. So before it will you give it about a quarter of the throttle around 50 miles an hour even progressing up to 50 it'll start shaking violently now it's only it only does it when you're accelerating slightly out of a left turn like or while you're into a left turn so we're going to replace the uh, CV axle this is a common thing with these vehicles that will vibrate real bad uh, that's just like any rear wheel drive car uh, the bearing will fail and it will not ride as true as it's supposed to and just be out of whack so it makes sense like under load the torsion will cause the CV axle just to just to get out of place and uh, that weak area or that area where it's play in it it will cause it to just move back and forth instead of staying in a fixed position get the cotter pin out the retaining nut for the CV axle take off the brake caliber so we have enough room to uh, move the spindle out and then take uh, so after we take off that those two fasteners at the lower strut mount at the top of the spindle here then there are two fasteners in the carrier back there connected to the CV axle we're going to remove those and should be able to just knock it out and uh, the axle should come out we're just going to replace it in reverse order I had did a wheel bearing on this a while ago see that hub looks still pretty still looks pretty new pin down here between the fins of the rotor It would have been a bad day to joke would have fell out. So we're going to remove the fasteners off of the uh, lower strut mount here. If I move this just right be able to simply pull out the CV axle We're going to get this carrier out, which is what retaining the CV axle. So there's two fasteners here, and then there's another one, uh, a 180 on, or on the complete opposite side of this. And these are going to be 16 millimeters. So once we get these out, 
we can knock out the CV axle. Alright, so we're going to get these two fasteners out for the carrier. And these are the last two fasteners holding the CV axle in place. Here's one 16 millimeter here, and then there's going to be another one 180 degrees from it. So once we get those out, we can pull the CV axle out. This one here, I just got a long extension impact gun. Sure, it's gonna pick it up here, but I'm gonna get a like a pry bar or something and knock it right at the yoke and knock out. So it'll take the uh, dry shaft with it. Here's the old axle, and what happens, uh, I've seen them dry up on the inside to where the bearings would just wear out and cause excessive play in it. You probably can just knock this one off. I mean, even then, there's rare occasions where the boot would be totally sealed and it'll be bone dry in there. I've had that happen before, but this is a um, see a huge difference look how girthy <laughs> god it don't sound right i need to start saying it. use double entendres look how thick this look how the shaft is big in comparison to the aftermarket one put it that way so i, I had to uh, hit it with some penetrating oil to try to get behind this housing here it was pretty difficult i don't i don't think it would have been as easy getting it out of there you can see where I was knocking it at also down at the bottom I mean this is getting replaced so I don't care about it uh, thing is with this new one it's gonna be a lot more difficult getting this one out if you ever have to remove it because it doesn't have that lip on there how it protrudes out look how smooth the aftermarket is so hopefully we should never have any problems out of this one I'm hoping but I am going to put some anti-seize around here and clean it up really good so we don't have any issues if we ever have to pull this back out. Just some regular anti-seize. That you would use on exhaust boats or anything. I'm just gonna let put a thin film on here.
his shoes. So I think this is slightly cut a little smaller than the factory, factory to make it a lot easier when pulling it out. So regardless, it's got some anti-seize on there now. I ain't going to have any problems with it. anti-seize on the threads going to the housing here and the axle this is uh this is brand new well i replaced the hub is brand new Sixteens here. So Twenty-one isn't like the exact size it's supposed to go on this nut here. Sixteenths. sure why these things come with cotter pins so far out because I mean by the time it hit this this pin here the wheel bearing and bending and start making noise it'll have been loose uh, it's weird man right. so we're good I'm getting this tire on here get some of the get the cosmetic stuff back on here and take it on a test drive got back off the test drive everything works perfectly fine now I'm just kind of curious to see what it looks like on the inside of this CV axle Like I said, normally what happened, it'll, it'll lose its grease and it'll dry up and the bearings will go bad. But I mean, eight axles can go in so many ways. It could have been up in the front here. So like I was saying, when you drive it and turn, it want to 
slow, one wheel want to slow down and one wheel want to keep the same speed and that's what's going to cause that axle to want to twist and that's why we got what we got but either way car's fixed now it's not the first time a Nissan's going to go through that this thing either way it's done but hit that link subscribe to the channel stay informed have the reassurance of my work see you on the next one